from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 2nd, 2022. Director General of Israel's Foreign Ministry, Alon Ushbiz, flew to Bahrain today, where he met with Prime Minister Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Ushpiz tweeted he was fortunate to have the opportunity to discuss matters that will decide not only the future of Israel-Bahrain relations, but will also contribute in a major way to regional prosperity and stability. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz is in India today and met with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Gantz tweeted that the visit marked 30 years of security cooperation and diplomatic relations between Israel and India. Gantz also met with his Indian counterpart, Rajnath Singh, and with the local Jewish community in India. Visiting, he tweeted the beautiful Judah Hayam Hall Synagogue in New Delhi. Gantz said, we have an eternal bond with the Jewish diaspora, and the state of Israel is committed to protecting Jews around the world. And Israel's National Security Council Chairman Eyal Hulata met on Tuesday with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan at the White House in a meeting of the U.S.-Israel Strategic Consultative Group to discuss the Iranian threat, among other issues. The White House said the officials committed to coordinate on efforts to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon and toward deterring Iran's aggressive regional activities. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman also met with Hulata. Sherman tweeted to discuss the importance of Israelis and Palestinians working together to maintain calm and de-escalate tension. And by the way, the Times of Israel reported this evening that the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Rafael Grossi, landed in Israel tonight and will meet with Prime Minister Naftali Bennett tomorrow, presumably about Iran's nuclear program. The National Library of Israel is sharing a series of videos of four ancient Torah scrolls with the public, just ahead of the Jewish holiday of Shavuot, which begins Saturday night and marks the giving of the Torah. Among the ancient scrolls, which were brought out briefly for filming from the library vaults due to their delicate condition, is the Rhodes Torah, written in the 15th century and used for hundreds of years in the Kahal Shalom Synagogue on the Greek island. The video notes that just a few days before the Nazis deported nearly all of Rhodes' Jews in 1944, the scroll was smuggled out of the synagogue and placed in the custody of the local mufti, Sheikh Suleiman Kasiloglu, who hid it under the pulpit of a local mosque. The Torah was returned after the Holocaust to the few surviving members of the Rhodes Jewish community, who ultimately donated it to the library to serve as a memorial to those who perished. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, June the 2nd at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 8, Jonathan Tobin speaks with Ben Dominich on Top Story. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Brad Hirschfeld on L'Chaim. At 10, Rabbi Eris Sherman speaks with Yankees broadcaster, actor, leader in the Jewish community, and his former coach from Little League, Coney Island, Dave Cohen, on Rabbi on the Sidelines. And coming up next, it's Good Week, Israel. Well, we end our newscast tonight with the passing of one of the leading figures in the Jewish community, Richard Stone, who served as chairman of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations from 2011 to 2013 and was one of the original board of directors of JBS, of which he was a huge fan and supporter. Stone was Professor Emeritus of Law at Columbia Law School, a former longtime president of the National Coalition for Soviet Jewry. He chaired the policy arms of the Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregations of America and the New York Jewish Community Relations Council, and served on the boards of the Hebrew Free Loan Society, the America-Israel Friendship League, the American Zionist Movement, and the New York Metropolitan Coordinating Council on Jewish Poverty, among others. JBS President and CEO Mark Golub said Richard was a proud modern Orthodox Jew who stood as a prime example 
of how one could be totally immersed in both modern culture and learning and Jewish learning and observance. Mark said of Stone the Jewish community is lesser for his passing, and he will be missed very much. I had a warm and personal relationship with Richard Stone that elevated me and gave me a better perspective of Jewish life today. I am terribly saddened by his passing, and I will continue to think of him every day. I loved Richard Stone very much. Richard Stone died Sunday. He was 79 years old. Zecher Tzadik Livracha, may his memory be forever a blessing.